There's one thing that most of us agree on, and that's that the relationship with a narcissist is a very karmic relationship. But when we look at it from our perspective, it seems like we're the only ones learning the lessons, the hard way, no less. So when does the narcissist get their lesson? And are you the one to teach it to them? Interestingly enough, I think that the answer might be yes, but it's not as cut and dry as you might think. So I'm going to cover that in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Common Ego Community. My name is Christina, and today I'm going to share with you what I've learned about the narcissist karma. Now, I do have another video on what you can do to help the narcissist receive their karma, and that kind of relates to this one too. So if you want to check it out, I'll pop it in the card there. But so if you are finding it difficult to see the narcissist getting their karma, there might be a few reasons for this, but one of them could be that you're too close to it. It could be that you are part of this karmic cycle that is unfolding and you may never get the full picture, but nonetheless, it is likely that you are playing a role in the narcissist's karma. So let me explain. So if you're watching this video, there is a very good chance that you are done with the narcissist in your life. Maybe the narcissist discarded you last and you just said that was gonna be it, no more. Or maybe you had the final discard and you're done. You're not going back. Either way, no matter how it went down, you are ready to get out. You know this and you are moving forward, moving on with your life. So that in itself, the narcissistic injury of you breaking free from this person's hold could be considered a form of karma. But that's not, it doesn't really go as deep as it would need to in order to set things right for all the wrongs that the narcissist has done, right? It doesn't seem like enough and it's not. But if we pull on this thread a little bit more, we might be able to gain some clarity and some peace of mind. So what happens after this, this major narcissistic injury that you likely have caused to this person? Now this here is where it gets interesting because this is what could trigger a chain reaction that leads to the narcissist getting their karma. It's not necessarily going to happen in every case, but I believe that it happens more often than we realize. So whether it's happening for the narcissist in your life or not, I believe it kind of helps to think of it this way because you'll never know the true extent of the damage that's being done, the hurt that they're feeling and the karmic cycle that is writing itself because that's that person's karma and not your own. You undoubtedly have felt your own form of karma in your life. We all, we all have been there, right? But it's not necessarily always a public thing. Sometimes it's just something that hits you personally and nobody else really knows about it. So let's explore how this could happen with the narcissist. So, you've decided you're done. They have lost control over you. So how does the narcissist respond to this? And here's where it gets interesting. So the narcissist has a desperate drive at this point to rebalance the scales because they were completely in control and you were not. And now things have moved in the other direction and they're feeling like they're here. And here is not a place they can be. It's extremely painful for them to feel like they're not in control because that challenges their false self. And that false self is all they have. So they are desperate to rebalance the scales. So not that you're equal, so that they're back on top. They need to let you know that they are powerful, you are not that you don't reject them, they reject you. So they are going to inflict some level of pain or hurt in order to show you and the rest of the world that you are wrong, you don't matter, and they don't need you. So how do they do this? So often with a new supply. And if you've ever been in this situation, you've probably noticed that with this new supply, after a narcissistic injury, the love bombing seems intense, 
right? It seems like everything is public. It's all over social media. They might even get engaged or, or elope. It's intense, right? And this is because the narcissist is desperate. But the narcissist is a person. Above all, they're a person. And some people like to give them a little bit more credit than I think most narcissists deserve. They're manipulative for sure, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily that smart. Some are, some aren't. Again, they're people. So you're going to see a range of intelligence in narcissists. Okay, so again, human, even though it doesn't always seem that way, human. And when we're desperate as humans and we're trying to make fast decisions and, and we're emotionally charged, right? What happens? We make bad decisions. We make the worst decisions of our lives. And so the narcissist goes on with this love bombing. He or she finds a target that will accept this intense, intense love bombing. And we've all done the work a little bit, right? We know that there were probably red flags in the beginning that we overlooked. Maybe they were minor. Maybe the love bombing wasn't quite as intense as this, as what you're seeing. I'm talking about this because it's so common. Because the narcissist feels a drive to show you and the world that this person, this new supply is better than you, that they're likely to go over the top more over the top than they did even with you. So that means that they're gonna be more red flags. Like the red flags are gonna be lighting up the sky. And what kind of person do you think they're going to attract with all those red flags waving around their head? It's not going to be an emotionally healthy person. You can bet that. It could be somebody who's extremely codependent or it could be another narcissist. It could be a sociopath or a psychopath, somebody who needs that intense attention, admiration, affection, somebody who really is driven to get it. Somebody like the narcissist, maybe even somebody worse than the narcissist. But because the narcissist has this intense drive to show you that they don't need you and you're wrong and you're nothing, they're blinded by that and they're going, they're going hard to make it happen and they're just not even paying attention to what's going on in their own lives. This can trigger a karmic cycle that you began and you feel like, well, I know that I hurt this person, but it's not, it feels like it's not big enough. It's not strong enough. It could be what's happening behind the scenes could be a lot stronger than you realize. And this person, if they're in it now, if they're still in that early love bombing phase, they could be on their way to something really terrible. And personally, I don't wish that upon anybody, but we do know that the karmic cycles do have to balance themselves. So what's interesting is that as the narcissist is trying to balance their own scales of control and power, karma is balancing her scales. And so the scales will get balanced one way or another. So at best, even, even if this, the narcissist doesn't end up with somebody like him or her or somebody worse than him or her, at the very least, it's going to be an emotionally unfulfilling relationship as are all the relationships with a narcissist. And at some point here, she's going to have to admit that this fairy tale image just doesn't exist so if even only to themselves so their karma is it's working itself out don't worry don't worry about the new supply don't worry about the narcissist you've gone through what you need to go through already from here on out for you it's it's only up so take this for what it's worth I hope it makes you feel a little bit better about what's going on in your life and and with how karma works in general that's all I have to say about it for now and I will talk to you soon.